Hey guys, Stuart here from Ride and Free Garage, and today we're here to talk to you about some of the setup that we run on our Harley Davidson motorcycles, both the handlebars, the risers, the throttle tubes, and the grips that we run. All right guys, so starting it off, we'll run through the handlebar setups that we like to use. So, from Speed King Cycle, we uh, actually chose to run with the mid-band traditionally on our Harley Davidson Dyna. Uh, on the Road Glide, I also run a mid-band bar, although I originally started with running a high-band bar, which is what you can see in, in picture here. So, the current risers that we've got bolted up here are an eight inch riser. That's a total of eight inch rise and one, uh, one inch pullback and the bars that we actually have are the Speed King's high bend bars. Now these give you about three, uh, about three inches of rise. So including the eight inches uh, on the handlebars, you're looking somewhere around the 10, 11 inches of rise total. So traditionally when we choose our bar height and riser height, it is quite uh, unique to each rider. So myself, I'm about six foot two, six foot three, um, relatively long arms. Uh, I find that the 8 inch riser was really good uh, with a mid bend bar. It gave me a relatively direct feel when turning uh, and road feel. Um, although I have ridden uh, setups which run a 6 inch riser, so 6 inch Speed King's riser, the Aniston riser, uh, paired with a high bend bar and it's a really, really nice feel from the road. Really good when turning, a real direct and great response off the road uh, and really nice steering geometry. So the reason why we've chosen the Speed King Aniston risers is that they're made from a 6061 billet aluminium. These are also anodized in both black and chrome, depending on the application you got or the color scheme that you're going for with your bike. Another thing that you may notice here is in the center of the six inch, sorry, of the eight inch risers, they actually have a mid brace. So anything over the six inch mark, Speed Kings have actually allocated a brace for the center of the risers, just to give it a bit more stability and rigidity when it's mounted to the bike. Now remember, these risers are generally used on club style builds um, or for the stunt guys. So they're getting an absolute flogging and when the guys are wheeling and you can imagine trying to pull that 300 kilo or bike up, there is a lot of force going through these risers. So making sure and ensuring that they're the strongest uh, available product and safest product out there is something that we, have, we hold quite highly. So on all our handlebar setups for all our bikes, we choose to run an ODI billet throttle tube. Now these are made from a 6061 billet aluminium. Uh, they also have an integrated Teflon sleeve to ensure the smooth throttle application all the time. Uh, now this is really important for those guys out there that are looking for that same throttle feel day in, day out. Um, something that we have found with some of the OEM and stock standard throttle tubes is that over time, they can get quite gritty and quite stiff. So with the ODI throttle tubes, we've completely eliminated that problem. All right guys, so next up we've got our grips. Now, we choose to run the Vans Cult Crew Waffle Grip. Now, I have this running on all my bikes. Um, absolutely love them. They've got a really, really nice, durable and robust uh, structure about them. Real comfy in your hand to grip and they don't feel too fat when actually mounted to the bars. Now, these work in conjunction with the ODI throttle tube. So if you are getting yourself an ODI throttle tube, you will need to get yourself a set of uh, grips that will slide over them. If you are looking at getting some of these parts installed on your bike, give us a message, hit us up, have a chat to us, and we'd love to hear what you're wanting to achieve from your bike setup, your riding style, and what you're really wanting to get out of it. So hit the link in the description. That'll take you through to the website, and you can have a look at some of these products. If you want to get them ordered, hit the order button, add it to your cart, and get underway.